Hello, and welcome to this edition of Five Minutes with CPC. My name is Scott Roy, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to this year's CPC President's Assistant, Sophia Bowman. I had a chance to speak with Sophia to ask her some difficult questions, and then we had a chance to play a game. So all this, if you just spend five minutes with CPC. Yeah, tell us about yourself. Yeah, so I'm Sophia Bowman. I'm from a large Catholic family just in the, around the area of CPC. Um, I am studying education, so to becoming a teacher. I'm minoring in Catholic studies and human kinetics. So hopefully one day I'll be teaching in the Catholic school system in the Archdiocese of Vancouver. Oh, that's great. That's great. And how has your time with Trinity Western been? Really well. Yeah, it's been going good. Um, the first year, I'm not going to lie, it was a little challenging just transitioning from high school to university um, and everything changes. Um, but I think CPC has been really good in that um, it offers a solid Catholic education as well as the community. So it makes it definitely easier. What was yeah. the, what has been the biggest challenge for you or what do you think was the biggest challenge for you coming from high school and into uh, university? Mm. Um, I think the biggest challenge for me was probably the um, amount of uh, commitment that changed. I was very involved in high school with a lot of um, events on student council, leading mass music, all sorts of things. And then when I came to Trinity, like as a shy first year, um, that kind of just totally changed for me. And I think that was such a challenge because I was trying to fill that, um, but I wasn't really finding it. And then once I got more comfortable at CBC, especially having my older sister there, um, I was really able to kind of find a groove, get involved. I started just doing the simple task of washing linens. And uh, yeah, once I just kind of made that first step and um, well, now I'm becoming the president's assistant this year, I've just felt way more part of the community. So yeah, definitely um, just getting involved. Everybody that of, of faith that grows up with faith usually kind of has a family faith journey, but mm -hmm. at some point in time, we're sort of challenged to make it our own. When did you start making your faith your own? Mm, yeah, so uh, I've been raised Catholic, a cradle Catholic. And uh, for me, I think it's been pretty steady throughout the journey, um, but obviously I think confirmation kicked it off and just uh, looking up to my older siblings and seeing what they had, it was something I really desired. And, and I said, yeah, you know what, this is what I want. Um, so they played a huge role in it, but also just having um, strong Catholic teachers throughout high school and as well as uh, parents that have a really solid faith. Um, just all of that kind of combined, just kept feeding, feeding my faith. And then coming to CPC and just getting more education in the faith, um, meeting people, going to events and all those sort of things. Um, it just, yeah, keeps, I think, fueling it. So leading in, that leads very well into my next question, which is who yeah. would you say has been one of the most influential people in your life? I'd have to pick two, my mom and my dad. They kind of go together. On the practical side of things, uh, they've always, you know, uh, taught us to, you know, go for what you want. Um, you know, if you want to go to school, become a teacher, go for it. Just, you know, don't hold anything back, which is a great attitude to have. Um, but on the more spiritual side, I think just their witness to their faith that they've shown us, all of us kids, as we've grown up, and their trust and commitment as well. And that's something I hope that I'm living out right now and continue uh, for my life. If you could think of one word to describe yourself, what's that one word? Oh, man. <laughs> You're so hard. Um, I would say uh, maybe like a leader. Um, I just really enjoy it. Well, it's something I'm going into teaching, right? Um, but just whenever I'm in that position, um, it just gives me so much life um, and so much joy. And so, yeah, I think that's what I would use to describe me. Well, I'm glad that we have you uh, helping out the president here. Then that's, uh, that's a great mm, uh, quality yeah. to have. So Very that's good. Okay, so I'm going to introduce the game part of it here. So okay. um, the game is truth or lie. 
the object of the game is for one person to decide whether the other person is telling the truth or telling a lie. Each person gets three odd objects from around their house. Then, one person takes one of the objects and shows it to the audience, while the other person has their back turned from the screen and cannot see that object. Then the first person describes either the object or something totally random to the other person, and that person must decide whether the first person is telling the truth or a lie. I think you should start. Okay. Let me know. Okay. Can okay. I look? Tell me about it. Okay, it's a beautiful piece of fabric fur. Um, it can be used for many different things. Most women like to wear it around their neck. It's very soft. Um, these animals are known to be vicious. Um, yeah, it's about the length of my arm. And it can be expensive sometimes. Are we going to have like animal activists mad at us here? Is that uh... hopefully not? <laughs> <laughs> um, what color is it? Is it like a black? Is it gray? Is it? A... Um, it's a brown. It's a brown. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, gee, I think you're telling the truth. Yeah. Okay, show it's, it. It's a mink fur thing. I'm not sure what it is. Is it faux or is it real? I'm pretty sure it's real. It says Vancouver, cool. BC, Alaska Fur Co. Definitely real. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you got to turn away. You got to turn away. It's it's uh, okay. my turn. Okay. Go ahead. Take a look. I'm ready. All right. So the thing I've got is a dinosaur bone. It's it's got its own little seat. Like it's uh it's 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 a display piece. And it's okay. got a little little brass plaque yeah. that says Alberta dinosaur bone. To my mind, it looks like a big rock, but it isn't. It's a dinosaur bone. How big is it? Well, smaller than a fist. Yeah, but I mean, it's like it's like that big. Okay, okay. And do you know what dinosaur it's from? I'm only gonna <laughs> guess that it's an Albertosaurus because it's an Alberta okay. dinosaur bone. That makes sense. But I can't, yeah. I can't be sure about that. I'm gonna say it's a lie. Well, who would have a dinosaur bone in their house? Uh, there oh. you go. Wow. I'm only, I can only go based on what this thing says. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's so interesting. Is it hollow in the inside? Yeah, yeah. You know, like my first thought was is that it's it's like a uh, a fossil. Okay, second one. Go ahead. Here we go. Okay, we're good. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. So this is a picture of my family. There are ten kids. Uh, I'm gonna tell them. Parents. I'm gonna tell them that I told, I told you to find some weird objects, and you picked a family photo. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I picked it. No. Um, yeah, they're all very beautiful. Um, they like to smile. Um, very tall. And the picture is about eight and a half by 11. And it was taken five years ago. Yeah. Is it, is it framed? It is not framed. So it's just like, uh, just the, 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 the photograph. You just have the yeah. photograph there. Yeah. Is it like um, portrait or is it landscape? It's landscape. It's because you have to fit everybody in there. I guess you exactly, have to do portrait. Exactly. What's <laughs> the back? You have to stack everyone up. To fit What's the background? The background is a beach, Crescent Beach, to be exactly. Okay. Well, I'm gonna say you're telling the truth because because I'm gonna be wrong. Nope. Oh, you're a liar. What is that? That looks like a mushroom. It, it, it is a mushroom. So it goes in like planters. It's like ornamental. Yeah, gee. You like <laughs> lied straight through that, that whole time. You no, know, I figured uh, that a family would be a good one to lie about. Yes. Well, yeah, and you, yeah. Okay. All right. All right, turn away. So what's the score? One Sophia, zero Scott? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Okay, go ahead, turn away. Okay.
Okay, go ahead and look. Okay. Okay, so the thing I am holding in my hands is a tiny stove and oven. It's cast iron and it's about the size of, well, a little mouse could like bake at this oven. And you okay. can open, you can open the door on it and you can stoke the fire. It's even got its own little like coal scuttle and it's got a little pot, a little frying pan. And you could, if you really wanted to, you could make a quarter size pancake. And I don't mean a quarter of a pancake. You know all about pancakes there, because I think I know, you I have know. them for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> but you could make one the size of a quarter. Is it a children's toy? I wouldn't say so. Okay. I'd say I'd say this thing is so special and unique that you would display this thing in your in your living room or, or kitchen or something. Okay. Have you ever tried to make a quarter of a pancake or a pancake-sized quarter? Yes. A quarter-sized pancake. <laughs> a quarter <laughs> a size of a, the size of a quarter size pancake. A quarter. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay. I have. And mm -hmm. successfully. It was good? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Uh, ooh. I'm going to say it's... I want to say it's a lie again. Dude. Well, who... Yeah. Well, are you going to say that, though? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a lie. It oh, is man. the truth. <laughs> You have the weirdest things in your house. I know, isn't that weird? And it is on display in my house. We do, we do show wow. off to people. And look at that. This here's the little coal scuttle. See, I wasn't lying about that. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. And here's the little frying pan. And oh, wow. I wasn't lying either. We did. <laughs> we had some friends over, and we made a little pancake on this thing. Well, that's great. Thank you so much, Sophia. I appreciate. Oh, hold on. What's yeah. the tally here? The tally is... Um, I, I feel like you may have uh, surpassed me by a bit. I think so. I think so. And I did it by telling the truth. See? Honesty always pays. So. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much. It was a lot of fun. And I appreciate yeah. you taking the time to, uh, to do this. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless you too. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.